So yeah, just, just kind of some background on me. I'm 34 years old, live in Omaha, Nebraska, married, got two young kids. The moment that I knew I was going to be a real estate investor was kind of one of those pivotal moments. And like lots of people, I picked up the book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. This was January 1st, 2017. I remember exactly where I was, last day of vacation, kind of dreading going back to my cubicle. And I picked that book up and immediately I had this mind shift. I finished the book within two days and I knew I had to start making a change. Otherwise I was going to be that individual at 64 years old, staring at his Vanguard account, praying that the market doesn't crash and that I can retire next year. It really hit me, hit me like a ton of bricks. My wife was pregnant with her second child. So I knew my 10 days of vacation off a year was not going to cut it anymore. Started educating, started reading pretty much as much as possible. Millionaire, real estate investor, all those types of books. When you start reading those, kind of some of the big takeaways are to network, to go out, meet people. So I started doing that, started reaching out to numerous agents. These agents, you know, turned me on to bigger pockets, which then occupied my mornings. Nice. Every, every single morning with uh, Professor Turner and Professor Dorkin <laughs> <laughs> on, on my that's drive. A, that's the it, first and only time I think anyone will ever refer to me as Professor. I'll, I'll take no, it. No, it's, it's great. No, but seriously, <laughs> it, uh, it, it had a tremendous impact on me, you know, listening to all these stories. Going through it, I, I realized I had some finances, you know, I, I had some money saved away so that I would actually be able to invest and get better returns in the stock market challenge is finding a property that's going to be worth anything. And I think uh, a lot of people realize, you know, you go on Zillow, you go on LoopNet, and the numbers usually aren't reflective of actuals. They're, you know, the pro formas or anything like that. So I did, I guess. I heard, what, I heard the other day, pro forma is Latin for lie. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, that, yeah. that might be a true. <laughs> Anyways, I guess I did what any sane person does. Um, I pulled a list from list source and I told my wife, Hey honey, this weekend we were going to handwrite 191 letters and, stuff <laughs> them and send them out to these owners. I did that. You know, this was about a month later after reading those books, I'm, I'm kind of one of those ready, ready fire aim people where I, possibly being patient enough, but I wasn't getting the results from agents. You know, some of them would laugh at me. Some of them would be like, yeah, everybody's looking for, you know, a nice 10 cap property, 15 to 20% cash on cash return. Sent those letters out. I was able to get six deals off of those letters. And no way. Yes, yes. And really that was one of the biggest catalysts for both confidence just to actually get me started in investing. So that, that's kind of where my, my, my journey began. Since then, wow. started a, a meetup group, a networking group. Actually, Mindy's been out to one of them as well when she was down for the Berkshire event. Mindy Jensen. Yeah, that, that's, kind of, that's kind of how it started. 